We're going to begin the baptismal ceremony. So I'm going to ask those friends that um, you know who you are, that you have a word for Michael, their teachers, their loved ones, their friends, if they can come up. And we're going to line up right here. And I'm going to ask the parents, of course, first to come up. But you're not going to talk to Tammy, so don't worry. Don't start crying yet. I'm going to have everybody stand up who is going to come and be with your loved ones. With Michael and Maya, please step forward. So let's line up on both sides. It's a lot of you, and that, that, that says a lot. Tammy and Joe, that says a lot. You are loved, and your kids are loved. All right, you guys. It's nice and warm in here. I feel it a distinct, actually a unique privilege to be able to be here with both Michael and Maya for their baptism. I had a chance to study with them. Uh, we spent time, oh, probably how many, what, 13 weeks or so, uh, just getting together uh, right before lunch in the TCE library. And boy, they were, um, they were great students. And afterward, I could tell they were eager to give their hearts to the Lord. And it really was a joy to see that experience from young people. And uh, I know that we have, and I see uh, a unique privilege, the word I used before very specifically, because I wanna show you a video clip of my experience with the Jennings family, specifically Michael and Maya, years ago. So let's show that video clip here for, uh, oh, about a minute. The video Joe, that was taken in, uh, what year was this, Joe and Tammy? Must have been around 2007 or eight, yeah. Uh, in Springfield, Illinois. And I had a chance to dedicate them to the Lord then. And so um, how unique is this to have an opportunity to baptize them as well? Boy, it takes you back. We won't watch a lot of that because it's, it's, uh, you won't hear much. <laughs> but, um, but certainly a blessing to me and a great privilege to now be able to baptize them. I understand that you have some friends that are here that want to share something with you. So we're going to let them do that at this time. So why don't we go ahead and start with who's going to go. Michael has been an awesome friend, and it started in the third grade. He always makes up funny jokes when I'm around, and even in the bad times, he still makes me laugh. I always see Jesus in Michael because he's always happy and funny. Michael has been an awesome friend. I am thankful for all the laughs he has given me. Continue following God, Michael, and never change. I started at this school just a few months ago, and it took a while for me to make friends. Michael was one of the first people I met, and he acted like we have been friends for a long time. I know that God loves him, and I know that God has an amazing future for him. Uh, me and Michael have been friends for a long time, and even since then, he's always been showing God's love to all of us, and um, I'm very thankful that He's been baptized now, and I'm older than both of them in the spiritual life now. 
Michael is such an amazing friend. I'm so happy for Michael that he is letting and accepting Jesus come into his life. For, and thank you for being there. And by the way, you're good at baseball. <laughs> Okay, well, I had the privilege of um, being Michael and Maya's teacher. And, um, oh, do I have to come out for people? Okay, sorry. Um, we have a love uh, for the Cubs that goes deep and wide. Um, we are, I'm from Chicago, so that was an instantaneous connection um, to this family. We've gone to Cubs games and stocked players at spring training. And... Um, but their character is uh, amazing, and I'm super proud of them. And I don't know if anybody noticed this, but maybe it's by divine intervention, that three years ago today, the Cubs won the World Series. So <laughs> I feel like it just might be a little bit of a divine intervention. <laughs> Hi, Michael. Hi, Maya. My J is what I call her. I wanted to share a verse with you today as I've watched you and I've had the privilege to be your teacher for the last year. Um, I've been praying for you as I pray for all my students. And in Joshua 1, 6, we all know be strong and courageous, right? But before that, in verse 5, it says, No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so Maya and Michael, as you make this decision today, it brings my heart joy as your teacher. But as friends of my daughter, I also am so thankful that she has this strong community around her. And I will cover you in prayer every day as you make this step to make Jesus your hero publicly. And I'm so happy and proud to know you guys. When we were in Illinois, the Jennings family was always dear to my heart. <laughs> and I was so excited when we arrived in Scottsdale, and there were the Jennings here. <laughs> it's been such a joy to have both of you, Maya and Michael, at school, so I can see you every day. You are both just fabulous kids, and I'm so proud of you that you've made this decision. You will never regret it. It's the best decision you can make. It's good to see our TC family here to support and represent two of our wonderful students. Michael, although you're going to have to teach me how to f make a fantasy team, so, because <laughs> we're not doing so well. But um, I've known both of you such a short time, and it's been a privilege to have them in my homeroom at TCE. I wish you both the best, and I'm so proud of your decision. My name is Mr. Dave. I taught Michael and Maya math last year. Michael is full of enthusiasm and sometimes it gets carried away in math class and so I had to put Michael in time out one time. <laughs> and I didn't have to put Maya in time out. She was always well behaved. But Michael, Michael presented me with a role of lifesavers to ask my forgiveness of, of his mistake, and, and so I really appreciate that in Michael, uh, the fact that he was willing to acknowledge that he made a mistake and he was going to learn and grow from that mistake. So keep up that, that spiritual journey, both Michael and Maya, and I wish you the best. Um, at recess I played football, and um, when I was usually on Michael's team, and he would always throw the ball to me, because not that many people do. <laughs> Maya is one of my very close friends, and I'm very happy and proud of her for making this decision. Maya is like so sweet and so kind. She's always been supportive of me and every single one of her friends. And I'm so proud of her for making this big decision. And I just want you to remember Philippians 4.13. Um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So just remember that we're always there for you, and God's always there for you. I have known Maya for a really long time. And throughout these years, I have been so 
happy that she's been my friend because she is such an amazing person and she is so supportive. And I see Jesus in her every day because she makes people feel welcome and it's such a joy to be around her. And I am so happy that she's making this decision today. Maya, you are an amazing friend and I don't know what I would do without you. You are there for me in the good and the bad. I love you so much, and I'm so proud of your decision to give your life to Jesus. And Michael, you're a pretty good friend, too. And I'm pretty proud of you, too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Happy Sabbath. My name is Elisa, and I've been blessed with Maya's friendship for many years. She has been a great friend, and I am glad that she has chosen to give her life to Jesus. May she be blessed throughout her life. Thank you. Maya has been my friend for a long time. She is such a nice friend, and I'm so happy she decided she's decided to give her life to Jesus. Um, <laughs> congratulations, Maya, and thank you. Happy Sabbath. My name is Felicia, and I've known Maya and Michael for about four years now. I have enjoyed every moment I have known them. Um, Maya's always been there for me when I need her, and she's really supportive. She's really nice and kind. Um, I just want to say that I'm sure God is celebrating um, right now in heaven that you two have made this decision. Yeah. Maya has been such a good friend to me these past few years. She's always so polite, kind, and inviting to everyone, no matter who they are or what they look like. While everyone else is in class goofing off, she is always one of few people who are behaving and doing what are they supposed to do. <laughs> I, I'm so happy, excited, that Maya and Michael have decided to give their lives to Jesus. Could it be more happy for them? Amen. I'm just, I'm the grandfather, step-grandfather. Step um, I'm overwhelmed. I can't believe they've grown so much. And I'm th so thankful for them be loving the Lord, so. They, they are such nice grandchildren, and we are so thankful they gave their heart to the Lord. Okay, you're not going to believe this, but I'm shy. <laughs> So, I'm just proud of you guys. Love you. I think this is a beautiful example of what it says in Scripture, raise up a child in the way that he and she shall go, and they will not depart from it. Praise the Lord for wonderful parents like Joe and Tammy who have raised these children in um, the way the Bible has taught us to raise our children. And um, I love this whole family. They're wonderful. And um, we're so happy that you two have made this choice to dedicate your life to Jesus Christ today. Blessings to you always. All right, thank you very much. Why don't we gather around if you'd like to hear. Let's leave a little space for the audience to be able to see. But Maya, I'm going to have you come over on this side of me. And uh, I will cover your nose. You just make sure you hold on to my wrist, because that's how I'm going to pull you back up, OK? All right, there you go. Maya, we've heard lots of testimony about your life and uh, how the Lord has changed you. And it is my great privilege as a kind of culmination of that decision that you've already been engaging in, in this walk with Jesus. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Yeah, you can go grab my wrist. There you go, because I'm going to pull you up that way. All right. <laughs> um, in spending time with both uh, Michael and Maya, um, most of you know that Maya's a little shyer, and Michael can be a little more outgoing, so when it was time to read a scripture, I, te I tended to pick on Michael first. But, uh, but Maya always jumped on in there and, and participated, and it was just a joy to see them both reading the Bible and just talking about how God is already walking with them. And so I'm so thankful not only to have dedicated each of them to the Lord, but now to baptize you, Michael, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
All right, thank you very much. God bless you, and thank you so much for all your support, those that are here to support both Michael and Maya during this time. Okay. Uh, it is sometimes a tradition for a church to sing uh, Family of God. You know that song? Now, I'm not going to sing it a cappella. So do we have somebody that can jump on the piano to actually play that? Rochelle, do you want to try to... It's, been a, it's a request from Tammy, so she'd like to sing, sing that, and I think it's a great idea. We're going to sing it. Okay. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood. Joint heirs with Jesus as we travel this sod. I'm so proud of the family, the family of God. And let's do it one more time saying we're so glad you're a part to Michael and Maya. We're so glad you're a part of the family of God. You've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood. Joint heirs with Jesus as we travel this sod. You're a part of the family, the family of God.